Welcome to the Arabesque Scissors YouTube channel. I'm Ali Phillips and today I'm going to take you through the simple steps of making this sweet little magnetic needle minder where you can rest your needle while you're working and this also snaps magnetically to the base of the sofa station. You can find the link for the pattern in the description below and if you like sewing organisational videos please consider liking this video and subscribing. And if you have comments for other organisational patterns you'd like me to design, leave me a comment. So now we're going to make the really cute little needle minder that sits on the magnet here or here. And to make this you need a self-covering button kit. So I've got a size 45 uh, self-covering button here. I've got a fussy cut of fabric that I've cut from the template. Um, I've got my neodymium magnet, which um, doesn't have to be the same size as what you've got on there. Um, but I've got a fairly large one here, which means that it's going to um, magnetise quite strongly. I've got my little kit here for covering it with. I've also got some super glue here uh, for gluing the magnet into the back of the button. So this one's E6000, but any super glue will do fine. So I'm just going to put um, a drop of the super glue into the back of the button. Doesn't have to be heaps. The next thing that you need to check is the polarity of your magnet is going to be attracting to the one that's underneath. So when it's attracting this way, you then need to flip it upside down and place that onto the super glue in the back of the button. And then that will be adhering the correct way. I'll just pop that back in again. So that's just a little double check for you. So we're going to place the fabric on the wrong side up and centre this as best as we can over the little cup. Place the button upside down on top of it and just take the little pink part and push And that will snap in and then you can have a little look at the back and see if you're happy with it. And you're just going to take all the little fabric edges and push them down. Take the back of the button with the lip facing up and push that down. And give that a really good push so that that all snaps in nice and tightly. The best part is when you get to pop it out, you have a really cute, sweet little button needle minder that snaps on to both of those. 